Sites. And I'm back with another Magnus Answers. Now this one is entitled, How do I get it on with an older woman? <laughs> well, my brother, you didn't come to the right place, cuz the love doctor is about to speak. <laughs> Police Academy reference, Police Academy 3, if y'all done forgot. Yeah, actually, that might be Police Academy 4. It's 3 or 4, I know that. So anyway, so... Starts it out as usual. Magnus! How can I help you, young boy? <laughs> Alright, so here's what he says. Hey man, been missing your vids. I hope the reason you're not frequently uploading vids is because you're busy being productive and successful with your new job, smiley face. Well, the reason why I haven't put up a lot of videos recently actually is because um, I've been really busy with that top 2% program. Like there's a lot of stuff in it. There's workbooks, there's assignments. So I'm basically, I'm in school for success right now. So pardon if y'all don't get as many uploads in the next few weeks, especially with me starting a new job and doing this, but don't worry. I'm definitely going to be uploading the same quality and good quality I've been giving y'all. So. Um, it says, now here's the situation. I'm a fairly attractive 20 year old guy. I'm confident around the ladies and I have no problem catching a girl's eye. And if I like what I see, I make my way over there and get things going. All right, so you're confident. It's easy for you to start conversation, that's great. Um, he says, you might remember I wrote you um, after I got the ball rolling and I did the social experiment about walking up to girls in public and just kissing her. Uh, which almost worked. Yeah, he was. He saw that video I did. I forgot the guy's not name, but you know, he he just walks up to girls and kisses them and stuff. So he, he decided to try it for himself, and it almost worked. So yeah, you know, and I figured that. Yeah, I figured that in certain settings, that shit will actually work. But I just said not all the time. But anyway, uh, it says I want to get your advice on how I can get the do the same with older women. <laughs> between 30 and 40 years old. I do get the occasional look from an attractive older woman, but I just don't have the balls to talk to her, especially when she's got her kids with her. I don't think I'm even supposed to do that. That's why I'm asking the expert, the Magnesite Mentor. <laughs> I like that. The Magnesite Mentor. I'm gonna take that as another one of my names. This, by the way, I'm not a freak or anything being in the girls 10 years plus my senior. I just think they're fascinatingly hot and an incredible turn on. Me too. <laughs> I, I didn't say that, y'all. And sad because she going to sit in there and um, Any thoughts or advice? I didn't mean that, babe. I just, um, I was caught up in the moment talking to my magnesite. Um, any thoughts or advice or past experiences would be very much appreciated. Long live the subscribers! Woo! So, um, here's what I gotta say with this, okay? And yes, you were right. Um, I would, I probably would never approach a woman when she's with her kids, unless she's receptive. There are some women that when they do have their kids with them, if you want to approach, they'll kind of give you the eye to approach. So, but if they're not then kind of leave them alone because some of them would consider it disrespectful for you to come on to them while they have their kids. All right. Now, as um, far as anything else goes, older women are just like younger women. All right. You already got the balls to catch the eye of the younger women and walk up to them. It's the same thing with the older women. If you catch the eye of a 30-year-old, go ahead and walk over to her and talk to her, okay? Unless she got her kids with her and she don't give you that sign. She's with her kids. She gives you the sign do it. But if not... And then so on and so forth, 35, 40. Damn, you 20 years old, you want somebody Sarah's age. That's what she is. And you know what? There's some scientific studies that say you are who you are going to be for the rest of your life once you're in your early to mid 30s. All right? So what you, the advantage of that is you found a girl that's not, oh, you found a woman that's not fickle and flim-flam and flaky and don't know what the hell she wants out of life. 
Usually by the mid 30s, early 30s, you, your personality is totally formed and you are who you are going to be. So you've got a pretty much a great indicator of who you're getting with instead of getting with a 20 year old that may change between, you know, 21 and 30. So I don't think that's bad that you want. Now, see, if you were like um, 20 and you're like, I want somebody 50 or 60, then I might think you're you kind of freaky, you know, Milf Man 1986. Yeah. I might think you're you know, kind of freaky. Um, but I don't know, man. Um, Make sure you um, approach them with respect. You know, sometimes with younger girls, I don't know how you approach younger girls, but sometimes with younger girls, you can approach them with that dumb shit, that younger shit. You know what I mean? You, and you know what I'm talking about. But with a woman, you got to come more correct with more respect, so to speak. You have to be more cordial, more sophisticated when you're approaching a grown woman. You know what I'm saying? Like when Sarah tells me about getting approached, she's gotten approached by younger guys, you know, Bell, you know. Oh, excuse me, Miss, can I, can I talk to you for a second? You know, instead of like, damn, girl, you fine as hell, come here, let me talk to you. You know, you can't do that with an older woman. Now, um, there was an older woman that I know that, and, and I'm telling you this because it's funny, a lot of older women, Here's the thing, if you decide to approach an older woman and she does not, you don't hook her, she doesn't catch. A lot of them are under the impression that, you know, oh, oh you're too young for me, oh my God, I can't believe that. You know, they act like that. It's like, no, you have to be a little bit persistent with them because sometimes they think that they can't have a relationship with a younger guy. You know, women are used to having relationships with older men. That's just how it is. Usually a woman gets with an older guy. But you've got to do that because, see, there's this woman I know, and she's fine. She looks good. She would get approached. She used to go to my gym. She would get approached by younger guys all the time. All the time. And she would, I'd be like, yo, why don't you give him a chance? Oh, Tyrone, he is, look at him. He's too, way too young for me, this and that. You know, I saw her straight up tell guys, oh, you too young for me, stop it. You know, she just walked away, stop it. Yeah, about five years later, young boy snagged her up. I think she might be still with him to this day. So it can happen. Sometimes older women, you just gotta be persistent. My homeboy, as a matter of fact, he used to date this older Filipino chick. And uh, I think she had to be, yeah, she's like 47. Yeah, 47? Yeah, so she's, yeah, it's 10 years our senior. You know, we're, we're, me and him are 36. So, and he got, and he got her very easily. As a matter of fact, see, the best thing to do is to find the ones that yike like younger men. If you want to get a cougar, not Sarah's not a cougar. She's 30, but... You know, at 40, you, I guess you could be considered a cougar going after a 20-year-old. Get what I'm saying? So, if, hey, shit, they got cougar websites, brother. You know what I'm saying? First of all, you already don't have a problem walking up to girls and talking to them. So, that's great. So, you can meet them on the street. Hell, go to the motherfucking websites. Findacougar.com, all that shit. That shit, yo, it's just, hey, I know brothers that on Match, like, they just pimps on Match.com or eHarmony, even though Match and eHarmony are for more serious people, I know dudes pimping on those websites. So just go to those websites. These women are already looking to get it on with a young buck. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So you go out there, prance like a peacock, put your antlers up, you know what I mean? Start clashing with the other guys, whatever it is bucks do. But, uh, yeah. Um, come here, boy. Yeah. And if you love the video, if you like it, make sure you share it on every website you got. And what we gonna tell him, Lucky? Come here. <laughs> oh, man, subscribers. Woo! See, he don't do it if I say woo. I got the howl. Oh, man, subscribers. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha!